Hello Intertubers and welcome to another episode of How to Play Frontier. In fact, this will likely be the final real episode. So today I thought I'd reach elite status. Um, I'm currently competent, which um, is about it's more than halfway through the ranks, but in terms of how close I am to elite, it's really not even close. So this here is the, based on the wiki, is the operator table. If I'm competent, then it means I've got somewhere between 1 to 8 and 1,000 kills. And to be honest, it's probably at the low end. Elite is somewhere in the region of 6,000. So, what I could do is make maybe 30 separate trips to Reedquat and kill everything that attacks me. Uh, that would probably work. But that sounds like it's something that might take a long time. Uh, I have an alternative plan here. So, I'm currently flying a panther. I mean, this is the same save file that we saw last time in 3206. I've just spent the last year basically trading up. Uh, the awkward thing is, big ships need crew. So to trade up, you need to have the ship for sale in the shipyard and the appropriate number of people on the bulletin board wanting jobs. So, so it can be a little bit tricky. And then once I've done that, because the Panther's only available in a Federation world, I've come back to the Empire. Currently in Exios. So let's do a Navy job. Uh, research Station Epsilon Indy. Which one is that? Yep, I can do that. Marvellous. And I now have cameras, yay! So, funny thing is, you get assassinations at the fourth rank, and then you get photography one rank later. But the photography missions are, in some sense, easier. Um, if you're doing an assassination mission, then you need to be in a specific place at a specific time, which can be tricky, and you need to have a fast ship. That's uh, fast in terms of hyperspace. Well, actually, fast in terms of normal space as well, because you need to catch up with the, with the enemy and kill them. But for a photography mission, you don't actually need that. Like this um, research station, or whatever it is. Okay, we get research station. It's not going anywhere, right? Uh, I, <sighs> I don't have to hit it at a specific time, it'll still be here. Now, you could quibble that I have to do this by 4th of February, and um, because of my big stupid slow ship, it's already 10th of February, but I don't really care. I just need to dock somewhere first. So I'm making a bit of space here for some shields. Right. Oh, I only have one of one shield generators. Okay, fine. Let's fit some more. Okay, yeah, that seems like a reasonable number. That's be kind of ridiculous. Got the energy booster as well. Got the laser cooling booster. Okay, great. Where am I supposed to be again? Episode in the 8C, right? 8. C. Let's go. Clearance withdrawal. What? Right. 
I'm all the way over here, who cares? That the autopilot didn't even kill me. That's kind of a very rare and special occasion. Let's just burn off all this excess velocity. Ooh, I don't see it. Fine. Gonna get a bit closer then. Maybe I'm already too close. And now I have to deal with that. Even just turning this ship around to point the other way is a real pain. Yeah, point towards the space dust. Burn off all this velocity. Like, I turn the ship around and it seems to have a mind of its own. <laughs> Auto pilot will help me out. There we go. So, there should be. Aha! I see it. And it's actually closer to me than the center of the planet, which means the autopilot will probably be able to take me there. So, because I'm not an idiot. I trust this, like, this crosshair, not quite where it should be. Alright, autopilot slowly recovering. Shouldn't take too long. What I'm actually trying to do here is land. I want to land, uh, Not a good landing. Let me try that again. Let's see if the autopilot can do this for me. I mean, spoiler, it can't. But it can still do a big chunk of the work for me. I get a bit worried about this. I'm going to try to point the ship. Yes, point it towards the space dust so that I can use the main engines. Yeah, those bad boys here to slow down. Love the autopilot. Let's see if the autopilot can get it done this time. Yeah, I'm going to turn around. Really feels like I'm fighting this trip just to turn it around.
of Trepay. A thousand kilometres away. I think that merits a second save. And now it's going to get a bit awkward. Can't use the time acceleration feature anymore because I'm under attack. Now that guy flew into me, which is really quite annoying. Like in space combat, uh, if I have a a stupid amount of shields, then I don't mind at all if people are going to fly into me. But if I'm trying to land, it's a real pain. Because there is a bounce sort of effect. Notice how that guy hit me and I'm actually moving away from the target. This is a real pain in the ass. But, but the real menace is when you're trying to land and people hit you on the top, which will smack me into the planet, which could result in an instant death. Which is a kind of a hilarious way to die. But I'd prefer not to demonstrate it. So I'm going to try to shoot as many of these guys down as I can. This is big. This is something big. Constrictor, I think, which made it a fairly easy target. Right, uh, I have an altitude now. And uh, my, my, my approach speed is low enough that I think it's controllable. Like, uh, like the, uh, the velocity crosshair adjusts pretty quickly to where I'm pointing at. Except for when that happens. Particularly important to shoot the big ships down, I guess. So here's the fun part. See that, these, that purple and white blob there? 
those are recovered Thargoid ships. So that's the degree to which the Thargoids exist in this game right now. You won't encounter any of their ships in space, but they do exist as research subjects. Now what I'm trying to do is land near that little grey block, because that is... That's the hangar where all these ships are launching from. I should put the undercarriage down. If only because forgetting it would be done. I really wish they wouldn't do that. feet. So annoying. Okay, this is starting to look almost reasonable.
as long as I don't hit the ground too hard, I think I will survive landing. And I'm landed. I'm going to make a third safety save. Or is it a fourth? Honestly, not counting. Okay, so uh, that's the hangar there. Four kilometres away. Yeah, that's not really where I want to be. to be, but we'll see. Why are they not launching? Like when I want them to, they won't do it. Uh -huh. So what I'm looking for is a, a position where I can fairly easily shoot down anything that comes out of that hangar. get something. Missed. So what I have here is a, a bunch of elastic bands and a joystick. Well, I normally play with the mouse but you, but you can use a joystick to play this game. Hmm, actually, my position. I think my position's a bit dodgy. shouldn't matter. Is that a real mine? Yes it is.
Hmm. So, what I'm going to do here is wrap an elastic band around the joystick so that it holds the trigger closed. This is very fiddly. Okay, well that seems to be working. So now the trick is just to aim this laser up where it will naturally intercept anything that launches out of the hangar. Now the uh, laser is overheating, but so it's intermittently cutting out. That's not a huge problem. What is going to be a problem is positioning this exactly right. Maybe I should make a note. Fourteen point sixty-four point nine. That seems to be the point where the ships turn around, which makes them easiest to hit. The other issue is that there are, <coughs> me, there are, I think, two places uh, in the hangar building where ships can launch from, and that means there are essentially two trajectories that a ship might go through. seems to be working quite well. I missed that one, but, but those ships are tricky to hit. Maybe I should go down slightly. This is tricky. Of course, if they just dive bomb into the ground, uh, if they hit the ground, it doesn't count as a kill for me. I have to be I have to kill them with the laser. This is a bad angle. Seems to be working actually. Well, that's a complete failure. No. I think trying to intercept both, like intercept uh, ships on both trajectories, is a bit of a pipe dream. I have to concentrate on one. It also doesn't really matter if I only hit the big ones. So I think the idea of this... <coughs> well, that one energy bombed this buddy. Which, you know, means I only get the kill on the big one. But I think the idea of this should be obvious now. This... This is... Uh, an infinite kill factory and I don't actually need to do anything I'm just sitting here with my hands on my knees uh, and, and my joystick button held down with an elastic band Ooh, that's a miss maybe I should point this slightly upwards you know, so then it would hit the thick part of these ships Takes a bit of fiddling, but once you, once the ship, once this turret is pointed at the perfect angle, you can just leave it. Ah, down, very tiny. 
That one because of the intermittent uh, laser beam, it'll happen. And the alternative is to use the, uh, the 4 megawatt laser, which that with a cooling booster can be fired forever. But it, it'll have trouble killing the big ships. And I'm not entirely happy with this position actually. I may change it yet again. The trouble is, I'm kind of shooting the ships from the side, which makes them difficult targets. I might have better luck if I move to somewhere where I'm shooting them from the top or the bottom. likely the bottom considering their location on the ground. not want that to happen. How that goes. Launching from the hangar and launching from a place that's close to the hangar building. Oh, 
Oh, right, yeah, they are actually launching from a place close to the hangar. I'm launching from there, which is completely reasonable. <sighs> Silly of me to try to cover both. So if I can just cover one correctly, then I'm gonna kill half the ships that are launched. Yeah, I have 250 shields, so this cannot hurt me. small things. I think those might have been air fighters. So at this point, uh, the idea is simple. I'm going to leave this running overnight, and because it's approaching midnight, uh, I'm going to go to bed, and we'll see what my elite racing is when I wake up tomorrow. So. This will be some time for me, but more or less instant for you, so see you then. And here we are, the morning after. You can tell from the time here that I've been asleep for like seven hours or something. Let's check the elite status. I'm still competent. Okay, this could take some time. So, here I am again. Um, not much later. And, um... Well, let's cut right to the chase. I am now dangerous. Yay! So, uh, that's nice. I actually ca caught that happening in something resembling real time. I know to within about an hour when it happened. Unfortunately, I don't really know how many kills I had when I started this. So, I don't have a good estimate to how fast this is killing stuff. I'm just going to watch this for a while. Actually, this wouldn't be a terrible time to save. Mm. 
so dangerous it requires a thousand kills. And it's also higher than any rank that I have legitimately obtained using this game. Like, I'm not entirely sure if I deserve the rank of dangerous, or if it's the elastic band around my joystick that's, uh, that's responsible, because that elastic band has more kills than I do. So I'm going to wait for more stuff to be launched. Uh, I, like, sometimes there's gaps, but the, the reason this trick works is that the research station never runs out of uh, ships to launch at me. You know, I, I can just imagine, like, what exactly is the, you know, the thousandth nuke to be launched thinking, you know? It's like, well, I know that everyone else we launched with this guy died, and no one even got his shields down below 98%, but surely I'll be the one that wins. So, yeah, I'm uh, not even trying to hit guys getting launched from the... Uh, left side of the hangar, which would be my right. But the idea is that this beam should get everyone that's launched from the right side. And unfortunately, it doesn't. So I'm, uh, I'm actually waiting here for a failure, which may take a while, and I may, and I may edit this. Okay, you see that? That right there, that's the problem. Now, that issue could be fixed by going downgrading to the 4 megawatt laser, but then I don't think I would be able to instantly pop the vipers and constrictors. So what I'm really looking for is a position where the sh ships I'm shooting at, yeah, there you go, I missed another one, a position where the ships I'm shooting at will appear stationary for a bit longer and I believe I have one I want to get inside the hangar basically but maybe not like that it's a bit tricky that's why we save. Yep, dangerous. I got bounced. That is a serious issue here. Got bounced again. Well, at least they're hitting me from below, which means I'm getting bounced upward rather than downward. Well, that does mean I'm not landing anywhere near where I want to be. Ah. That's a lot of mines. For no discernible reason, the ECM isn't working. 
Could it be a fuel issue? That ECM is working, it's just... I turned the sound off because... Uh, it was getting annoying. Never mind, let me fix that. turn it off again because having to constantly hear the uh, yeah this looks this looks about right um, yep yeah, I'm landed and if I got this right, yeah, I'm inside the hangar. Like, I mean, that's fine. It's not like there's any, you know, collision detection or anything like that. I can happily exist inside this building. I'm gonna disable the uh, elastic band and uh, try to find the best angle to kill stuff, which. Which way am I pointed? Yes, I'm pointed out of the hangar, so I believe it will be a vaguely forward direction that I should be shooting in. You know what? That seems pretty good. Let me try that. Elastic band back in place. Boom. Yeah. See, see, this is better because I'm instead of shooting the, shooting the uh, ships as they're flying past, I'm kind of hitting them at the exact point they're slowing down to turn round and face me. Maybe I should have used the, the 4 megawatt laser. Like, there's a real possibility that would have been better. Also, I could have used a plasma accelerator. Uh, yeah, still. Slight problem here is that the ships are launching from two positions and I can only really cover, cover one at a time. Yeah, the trouble with the plasma accelerator is that I think the plasma accelerator weighs in at about uh, 500 tons, which means I'd have to give up. Ooh, 125 shield generators, which which is half the total number of shield generators I have. But when you consider that. Nothing even got my shields below 90%. That's probably not a huge deal. Again, yeah, this looks like a better farming position. Um, I may adjust this, but at the moment it looks like this is hitting everything that's launched from the left position. Might be nothing that's launched from the right position, but you can't have everything. So I'm just going to leave this and uh, maybe go shopping or something. And we'll have another look at this when I go to bed today or when I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> 